will come again. Now continuing with the, our trim questions. Today we have another numerical from past papers which is uh, on the topic which is how to achieve a desired draft at one end. So the question may be asking you that uh, you want to reduce or increase uh, the draft at forward end or aft end by so many centimeters. So initial draft is given and change in the draft is given. That means the final draft at one end you know. Like for in this uh, in, in this question, ambihinship in fresh water is at a draft of 6.32 meters, 7.18 meters. So initial draft is given. Calculate the position with respect to aft perpendicular from where 140 tons should be discharged to reduce her forward draft by 32 centimeters. So in the final condition, the draft forward draft should be reduced by 32 centimeters. So if it is 6.32 meter now, in the final sailing condition, forward draft will be 6 meters. So this is known in this question. So let's see how we begin this question, this type of question. See, when, whenever they are asking you to calculate the position with respect to half perpendicular, in other words, they are asking you the LCG of the cargo. So in order to find the LCG, you know, moments, longitudinal moments required, but then we need to know ship's LCG in the initial condition, which is when she was floating at 6.32 and 7.18 meter. And what will be the ship's LCG in the final sailing condition? So if we know these two, then we can find the LCG of the cargo. So let's, uh, that means there are two things. Uh, we need to know initial LCG of our vessel and we need to find out the final LCG of our vessel. Only then we can find out the LCG of the cargo. Now, to focus on the initial condition, initial drafts 6.32 meter and 7.18 meter, mean draft 6.75 meter, trim is 0 0.86 meter by strand. Okay, so let's find the hydrostatic draft. LCF for mean draft 6.75 meter from the hinge ship particulars. 71.856 meter. So the particulars I have extracted here, you can zoom and if you can read, then you can use the particulars from here when you're doing the question. So LCF is the last one here, 72.005, 71.806 between 6.6 .6 and 6.8 draft. So my mean draft is 6.75, somewhere between 6.6 .6 and 6.8. So I interpolate the two LCFs and I get 71.856. Correction to half draft, trim into LCF upon LBP. So initial trim is 0 0.86 meter by stern and uh, multiply by LCF 71.856 we just found from the tables upon LBP 143.16 length between perpendiculars. So correction to half graph is 0 0.431. So what is the initial aesthetic draft? Half draft 7.18 minus Correction 0 0.431, 6.749 meter. 6.749 meter is the hydrostatic draft of the vessel. Now floating uh, at the current uh, condition, 
and she is floating in fresh water so don't forget that she is floating in fresh water and this draft which we found 6.749 meter hydrostatic draft is in fresh water so i want to know now the displacement of the vessel so if i enter my hydrostatic particulars of hinge shape i will get salt water displacement at this draft 6.749 and then i can convert it into the fresh water displacement okay so i enter the table with 6.749 meter here again the same extract is there and uh, there is interpolation between 13840 and 13383 and our draft 6.749 is between 6.6 .6 and 6.8 so i can interpolate and uh, after interpolating for 6.749 meter i get salt water displacement 13723.5 okay if the ship was floating in salt water at this draft of 6.749 her displacement would have been 13723.5 okay at 6.749 so what is the underwater volume at 6.749 just divide the salt water displacement with the density of salt water and we get the underwater volume at 6.749 multiply by the density of fresh water i get the displacement in fresh water at 6.749 okay so this initial displacement in fresh water okay salt water displacement 13723.5 up divided by 1.025 multiplied by 1 so when i divide by 1.025 i get underwater volume at 6.749 meter which is my hydrostatic draft of the vessel initial then underwater volume multiplied by density of fresh water gives the displacement in fresh water 13388.8 tons now at the moment see we we, we, we are extracting data for initial condition initial hydrostatic graph initial displacement okay so then the next one is mctc same way here interpolate for mctc here okay uh, for and interpolate for 6.749 meter draft and uh, i get mctc 180.865 eight six five but mctc needs to be corrected for density like tpc so 180.865 upon 1.025 because this is this is salt water mctc is in salt water multiply by fresh water density in which my vessel is actually floating so divide by 1.025 multiply by density of the dock water which is fresh water one so i have corrected my mctc for the fresh water dock water 176.453 this is what this is what to be used we must correct mctc always for the dock water if the ship is not floating in salt water lcb initial lcb 72.866 again from here this is lcb So interpolate between these two values here for 6.6 and 6.8 and you will get the lcb 72.866 okay now you know the formula trim is equal to 
total trim is equal to LCB minus LCG multiplied by displacement upon MCTC into 100. So I am inserting my initial condition. My initial trim is 0 0.86 meter at the initial draft. Initial LCB I just found 72.866 minus LCG I don't know. Initial LCG that is what I am trying to find into displacement. Initial displacement 13388.8. The actual displacement in fresh water. Then upon MCTC, corrected MCTC 176.453. In 200. So here, I only thing which I don't know is LCG. LCG in the initial condition. Okay, so I solve this, and I get initial LCG 71.733 meter. So my initial LCG I found from my initial condition. I I entered everything from my initial draft. LCB, MCTC, everything. That's why I have written here in the bold initial. What is the initial displacement? 13388.8. We found here. Yeah. 13388.8 tons displacement after we applied correction for the density. And cargo to discharge given is 140 tons. What will be the final displacement? 13388.8 minus 140. 13248.8 tons. So ship is floating in fresh water and her displacement is 13248.8 tons. Okay. So if I want to find a hydrostatic draft, I must find corresponding or equivalent displacement in salt water at the same underwater volume. So I can enter the tables. So if the displacement in fresh water is 13248.8, what is the underwater volume at this draft? 13248.8 upon density of fresh water, which is 1. Okay, this is the underwater volume. Underwater volume at the at this draft. Then volume into density gives the mass, which is displacement. Then I multiply by 1.025 salt water density, I get the den displacement in salt water at the same draft. Okay, without changing the draft. I get the displacement, corresponding displacement at the same draft in salt water. So now I can enter the hydrostatic tables with this displacement and get my hydrostatic draft. This comes out to be 13580 tons. This is the, this is not the actual displacement of the ship. Actual displacement is 13248.8. For the sake of entering the tables to find a draft, I have to get the corresponding salt water displacement at the same draft. So, okay, the, at the same underwater volume, so if the ship was floating at the same draft in salt water, this would have been her displacement, 13580. So, this, with this displacement, I can enter hydrostatic particulars and read the hydrostatic draft. So, it will be 6.686. You enter with 13580 tons salt water displacement and I get 6.686 meter. Then at the same draft now at 6.686 meter we can get LCB 72.876 MCTC. Now once again ship is in fresh water MCTC we have to correct for the fresh water. What I get 180.205 at 6.686 that is in salt water. So I divide by salt water density multiply by fresh water density 1. I get 175.810. This is the MCTC corrected for density. 
LCB, LCF are not affected by density, so I can just read straight away for 6.686 meter draft and write down LCB and LCF 71.919. So, hydrostatic draft final found is 6.686 meter. What is the forward draft required? Present forward draft is 6.32. And they want to reduce the forward draft by 32 centimeter so minus 0.32 so final forward draft should be 6 meter and you know how we find the, the uh, drafts forward enough from the hydrostatic draft because ship is trimmed by stern we are reducing forward draft so she is going, going to be trimmed by the stern in the final condition so hydrostatic draft minus tf which is change in draft due to trim hydrostatic draft minus tf will give the forward draft so hydrostatic draft minus tf is the forward draft you remember ta and tf they are the forward trim and aft trim you find change in the drafts due to trim so hydrostatic draft is 6.686 minus tf gives me the forward draft which is 6 meter so what is the change in the draft due to trim tf 6.686 minus 6 equal to 0 0.686 meter this will be the change in the draft due to trim, forward trim, TF. For finding TA, normally you are finding TA and you are writing total trim into LCF upon LBP. But here we are finding TF, we are finding the forward trim. So it will be total trim into distance of the forward perpendicular from center of flotation generally it is called forward length means it is a distance of the forward perpendicular from center of flotation upon lbp remember okay usually you find the ta and that is trim into lcf upon lbp and you normally are not using this but you should know that it is also to be used like this so tf we found is 0.686 this is 0.686 meter equal to total trim into what will be the distance of forward perpendicular from center of rotation you subtract lcf from lbp okay lbp is a total length between two perpendiculars and lcf is the length of the center of rotation from aft so if I subtract LCF from LBP, I will get the distance of center of rotation from forward perpendicular. Okay. So total trim into now LBP is 143.16 and LCF is 71.919 so 143.16 minus 71.919 that comes out to 71.241 lbp minus lcf upon 143.16 which is lbp so this gives me sailing trim final trim 1.379 meter this is the final trim because I used all the parameters of the final sailing draft, hydrostatic draft. Okay, now I apply the formula of total trim is the final trim is equal to LCB minus LCG into displacement upon MCTC into 100. So this is the final condition now. Final trim 1.379 LCB minus LCG final. Displacement is will be 13248.8 after discharging this cargo upon corrected MCTC and 175.81 into 100. All this you have already found for the final hydrostatic draft. 
here. Okay, for the final hydrostatic draft, all these things have been already found from here. So we insert these values here, we get LCB minus LCG is equal to 1.830. What will be LCG? Will be LCB minus 1.830. And LCB, final LCB, you have again the final hydrostatic draft. We have found here final hydrostatic draft 6.686, LCB 72.876. Okay, so 72.876 minus 1.830, we get 71.046. Okay, so I found my final LCG also. So I found the initial LCG and I found now the final LCG. I use the same formula, trim is equal to LCB minus LCG into displacement upon MCTC into 100. But in the first time, when I was finding initial LCG, I entered all the particulars of initial conditions. As per the initial hydrostatic draft, displacement, LCB, MCTC. And when I got the final trim, 1.379 meters. Now I used all the particulars of the final hydrostatic graph LCB and MCTC and displacement for the final condition and I get the final LCG. Now I can write the table, put weight, LCG, longitudinal moment. What is the initial displacement before discharging 140 ton? Initial was 13388.8. And LCG we found 71.733. Multiply weight with LCG, you get the longitudinal moment. And then 140 is the weight to be discharged. Assume its LCG is X meter. So longitudinal moment will be 140X. Because weight is being discharged, so the final longitudinal moment will be 960418.79 minus 140x because weight is being discharged okay upon final displacement so final displacement is this minus this 140 and 140 ton is subtracted and we get 13248.8 is the final displacement X is equal to 136.747 meter, which is the LCG of the cargo. So from forward perpendicular, LCG will be 136.747 meter. So weight to be discharged from 136.747 meter forward of the half perpendicular. that's all uh, and then this was the actual question calculate the position with respect to half perpendicular from where 140 ton should be discharged to reduce a forward drop by 32 centimeters so this is the answer is from hinship hopefully you can go through this video again and again and try to understand that basically what what is being asked position of the cargo means lcg of the cargo and when you are finding lcg you need first the initial lcg of the ship and the final lcg of the ship then only the lcg of the cargo can be found so both initial and final lcgs we found using the formula of the trim Trim is equal to LCB minus LCG into W upon MCTC into 100. Difference is that when we are focusing on initial condition, we have the initial hydrostatic draft. Against that initial hydrostatic draft, we find LCB, W and MCTC for the initial condition. So then we found the LCG and the initial trim. And when we found the same thing with the, uh, for the final 
and the string lcg then it was uh, the final condition of the vessel final hydrostatic draft final trim final lcb and final mcpc that gave me final lcg and from where i got my total trim in this you have the forward trim available to you tf which is the change in draft forward due to trim we knew the hydrostatic draft and if the ship is trimmed by stern what we do hydrostatic draft minus tf will give the forward draft so we have the forward draft we have the hydrostatic draft we found a tf the forward trim 0.686 meter and we inserted in the formula here for tf t into forward length upon lbp and here the t was total trim from where we got the sailing final trim of the vessel all right thank you very much now our next video will be on another trim question another type of trim question from past papers uh, which will be uh, the desired trim how do you achieve desired trim like you want to sail with certain trim for the final sailing condition so how do you discharge your cargo or load your cargo okay thank you very much and leave your comments if there is something not clear and the next video we wait for the next video i am going to put all the all types of trim questions and the questions selected will be from past papers okay thank you very much